what you was doing in your previous company what was your role this is a common question if you go for an uh, mbp interview mechanical firefighting plumbing electrical whatever it is for a post of supervisor foreman engineer this is a common question and the uh, answer is not as simple what we think there is some uh, special thing we need to add step by step then only this particular thing will be covered and this answer should we should cover in uh, one or one and a half minute maximum one minute this is the thing so step number one uh, do we uh, do we start the work from the early morning no we start the work from the previous day evening this is what we need to add on how we will start the work in the construction site evening time before going to home or before shutting shut down the project evening time we will check whether tomorrow material is there tomorrow work clearance is there tomorrow work permit is there this all check uh, things we will uh, check also you will discuss with your engineer or uh, concerned uh, senior uh, person uh, what is our next job tomorrow like this this one we need to we need to mention in your way short way you should explain this one then next day morning what are the things you are doing the one is that toolbox talk it is very important when you are working in a gulf country so all the toolbox talk is very very important uh, without toolbox talk there is nothing <laughs> this is very important and what are the what are the next steps we will go to the site after toolbox talk engage the people how engaging the people like two people three people like that Uh, we will take a, uh, yeah, new, a senior person and a helper and a senior person and a helper we will assign specific specific task for each people before uh, you know assigning the task we will ensure whether there is a scaffolding permit is there there is a work permit is there safety permit is there everything we will ensure and uh, we will as, uh, ensure the other things as well like uh, you know drawing and uh, you know those all things there are so many other steps is there uh, if we go for deeper we need to talk about deep very deep this is like because whenever uh, we are starting there is some uh, you know formalities there formalities like for example you should have a work permit you should have a you know uh, approved uh, method statement approved uh, you know shop drawing this all things uh, you should have then only you can do work in a specific area this is the main, main important uh, things uh, when we are working in the construction industry so this is all things you can mention in your way in very cut short way to your uh, you know uh, the person who is taking the interview this is very important after that uh, you know your target this is very important when we are uh, you should mention about the target also uh you know while uh, doing the uh, interview for example you have a uh, you know big wide area and you have three man bar and uh, finish in uh, you know 10 days or 15 days you know foolish questions <laughs> or foolish answer no we should man we should uh, you know think according to our work area uh, how much uh, long we need to work and as per that we should uh, you know consider the man hour and uh, maybe the interviewer they will ask you uh, can you prepare uh, you know man hour planning this is also a, a very important question man hour planning for example you have one project is there how many man days is required how many you know people have, skilled people how many yani skilled technician how many or helper how many uh, like this Uh, can you take a material take off yes of course we need to mention like that so in this interview period all these things you should uh, you know cut by one by one by one and you should uh, able to explain to this uh, interviewer then only they will get the proper confidence about you this is what the person he is expecting from you if you uh, uh, speak very simple way and you know lazy way the person the interviewer they will not accept you to be frank with you again uh, for example a ducting person or electrical person or plumbing uh, person whatever it is the main thing or the main role for a you know supervisor uh, group leader whatever it is an engineer they should focus about the materials they should fo uh, focus about the you know uh, civil clearances this is very important civil clearance if for example you want to pass a duct or you want to pass a electrical duct or mechanical duct or sorry uh, hvac duct you should have a cut out yani yeah, opening there is a marking you have a you did you request uh, you know for next week work uh, did you request to the civil people there is a marking is there we need a opening over there there we need a chipping maybe we need a core cutting we should uh, you know uh, request this one at least one week before very important not one day before one week before we need to request all this uh, civil clearances 
then only we can pass it and for next day your one day job is that for next day for example where we are working there we have a clearance maybe uh, objection uh, from other services or heating for, or for example if you are passing a deck uh, there is a so many electrical conduits or uh, you know cable drive or something is there you cannot pass your uh, you know deck over there for example plumbing pipes maybe you are bringing the plumbing pipe in a slope and there is a ducting master they will tell you okay no problem change it up <laughs> it's impossible because the drainage pipe is coming in the slope so you will measure it whether uh, to tomorrow my people they can work here or no this is what we need to uh, you know check and i am uh, uh, all this about we should understand uh, whether there is you know proper scaffolding and scaffolding tags uh, this is very important in gulf countries for example there is no tagging uh, safety tag for the scaffolding if somebody fall down and uh, some accident is happened it will be you know fully responsible you will be fully responsible even uh, group leader or uh, foreman supervisor engineer whoever it is they are fully responsible there will be legal actions that's the main problem So take care about this thing and uh, wait for the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you. Bye bye. You have any questions or doubts or clarifications? Please ask. Thank you. Bye bye.